have to introduce you to my selection for the next lieutenant governor of the state of Utah, uh, Senator Greg Bell. After weeks of speculation and deliberation, the future governor names his replacement. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tanya Papanicholas. I'm Richard Pyatt. Future Governor Herbert announced his pick for lieutenant governor this morning, choosing a state senator from Davis County to fill that position. John Daly was there, and John, this choice was not a huge surprise. Well, Tanya Rich, uh, that's right. In a word, no, no big surprise. Greg Bell's name has been out there for some time. He was revealed to be on a short list of four just last week. Now, Gary Herbert, of course, becomes governor next week as John Huntsman moves on to become ambassador to China. Herbert said today that he uh, talked to a lot of candidates, put in a lot of time and consideration and thought into who would make the best choice. But he says uh, he also got some advice, some, some of it unsolicited, but that he chose Greg Bell because he fit uh, the three C's, capability, commitment, and compatibility. Most everybody characterizes Senator Bell as somebody who is principled, who is personable, uh, who is respectful, and somebody who is a facilitator capable of bringing others together. He's very circumspect, very methodical, and uh, he worked me over. He uh, vetted me, he went through my background, he uh, asked me lots and lots of questions. Bell says he had the official conversation with Gary Herbert last night and that's when the invitation to be lieutenant governor was uh, given to him. Greg Bell has been in politics for some time. He's in leadership in the Senate. He's the assistant majority whip there. He was a two-term mayor in the city of Farmington in Davis County. He was also the chairman of Envision Utah. Now, uh, Greg Bell is considered a moderate, and this is considered to be a, a good choice for that reason, someone who helps balance out the ticket that will run next year uh, in the 2010 election for with uh, the then-governor Herbert, who, will, uh, who, of course, is a, a bit more uh, considered to be more of a conservative. We should say that uh, this nomination now will go on to uh, the Senate and will need to be confirmed by the Senate coming up tonight. Uh, in the evening newscast, we'll tell you more about this new administration's top priorities. Rich and Tanya, back to you. All right, John, thank you very much for that report from the Capitol. One of the first issues.